to keep it secret. You have to be careful who you want to share your burdens with. Too many women out there have lost their marriages because the nkechi that you are telling about your husband, the nkechi is going back to your husband to go and drop the message. The nkechi is the one that is your problem. Nkechi, I don't know what to do. Nkechi, my husband has so much money. Nkechi, my husband this and that. And then Nkechi goes back. Nkechi is the one that is attacking you. Too many girls that were supposed to be in marriage, but they didn't even get there. Your problem was because you shared it, you aborted an unborn baby by sharing your secret, venting your problem to somebody who didn't need, need to listen to it. Oh, Johnson is coming from my hand in marriage. Johnson is so rich. This is where Johnson lives. This is Johnson's weak point. This is where Johnson, 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 Johnson. And the other, when you finish, you go to bed. And you say, I only talk to my best friend. And then your best friend goes to Johnson. Johnson, do you know the girl you are trying to marry? Do you know she has been married before and then they pack, they just shift her back? Do you know that she aborted, she had very many abortions, she cannot even have uh, children anymore. They will heap all sorts of lies. Johnson wakes up the morning and Johnson tells you, dear, I don't want to marry you anymore. To crown it all, before you know what is happening, Johnson is even heading out to marry your friend. We have killed ourselves a lot of times talking to those who do not deserve to hear our problems. So you need to this morning, after listening to this message, be careful. Who you vent out to? Listening here will turn to wagging tongue. Tongues are made to wag. That person who is listening to your predicament and that person is going, Oh, oh my God, I'm so sorry. Oh, you be my prayers. I'll pray for you. Trust me, I will pray for you. Immediately you leave. She grabs her phone and start calling the next person. And start calling the next person. And start calling the next person. Hallelujah. Joseph dreamed and told his brothers. And they hated him. Stop feeding the beast. Because the beast that you feed today, when that beast grows up, the beast comes back to come and feed on you. That means the beast wants to come and kill you. Let's not feed the beast. And we need to stop betraying confidence for those of us who can no longer keep secret. You go to churches today, people come, we come and entrust our, our secret with you as a leader that you are, whether you are a pastor or a teacher or somebody. But you can no longer keep the secret. You are no longer a leader. You are a dealer. And you are dealing with people's information. You are a dealer of news, a dealer of stories. And then you are no longer worthy to be called a leader. Because the reason you have become a leader is not to become a dealer. Hallelujah. So let's learn not to, I mean, to stop telling our friends, our so-called friends, the people we call friends. We need to keep it low. Let's stop telling them. The moment you stop telling people, about your, 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 you know, something beautiful that is coming your way. The, that moment, the devil will cease to hear. The reason the devil knows about everything about you is because your so-called friends, they know about it. So when your breakthrough is in incubating process, don't talk about it. If you open your mouth, and begin to share, oh sister, I know I trust you. I have a breakthrough that is coming up. It's in the incubation process, but it's going to mature. Let me share it with you. You, you know what you're about to do yourself. That thing is standing a risk of abortion. It's not every pregnancy that will become a baby. Some pregnancy along the line will be aborted. They will be miscarried. So when you have something breakthrough coming your way, stop telling your so-called friend. You tell your friend, your friend blows the trumpet. They quickly run. I've seen a lot of people who come to talk about, oh, they're about to give me the managerial level. And then I run in the middle of the night and I'm calling everybody. Do you know who you are trying to give that managerial level? 
This person does not know nothing. This person has tried here and tried there. And those people will be like, really? So the next day, they will call you and say, oh, let's just you know, put a hold on this. We'll put a hold on this and then we'll get back to you. And they will never get back to you. You go back to the same Sandra and cry your hearts out. Sandra, I don't know who is doing this to me. Sandra, please put me in prayers. Why can't you pray for yourself? Stop talking to Sandra. Sandra is the devil. Sandra is the one that is connecting your information to the devil. And this is how the devil is running you down. This is why all your breakthroughs are being aborted even before they are being born.